So I've been riding the brand new BMW R1300 GS for about six months now and sadly the time has come to send the bike back to BMW Motorrad UK from whence the bike had come. Now during that time I've got to know the bike really well but I have no plans of buying one anytime soon. In this video I'm going to tell you why. Hey kids, it's Mr. Fly here, hope you're well. Now the time has come after six months to hand back my long-term loaner to BMW UK. So thank you to those guys for lending me this absolutely superb bike. The engine on the new GS is absolutely incredible. It goes like stink and no longer can the GS be called a tractor. As well as this superb new engine, there are some great new features that BMW have added to the R1300 GS. The ones that I particularly like are the features that the radar enables, so it gives you adaptive cruise control, one of those things that you never knew you needed uh, until you've had it, then you're going to miss it. The other thing I really like about the radar is the uh, blind spot monitoring. You get these little bits that light up in the mirrors if a car tries to sneak up on inside you, and that is absolutely superb. Another superb bit of tech that BMW have optionally added to the new R1300 GS is the adaptive ride height control. It means if you're a shorty like me, you can definitely get your feet planted on the ground. It just makes the whole bike much more confidence inspiring to ride. So the new bike is simply superb. So why have I got no plans to be buying one anytime soon? For me, there are simply too many things about the new bike that I don't like. The changes that have been made to make it faster, more agile, smaller, they're just not things that I was looking for in a new GS. For me, a GS is all about its comfort, its touring credentials, its ability to carry pillions. And for me, this new bike comes up short in all those areas. Now, as much as I've really tried to love the looks of this bike, I simply can't. Now, this is a bike that I've just never had in the garage and looked back at in awe in a way that I did my old GS or my other bikes. I know it's a very, very subjective thing, but to me, how a bike looks is a major part of the buying decision. And unfortunately, I just cannot get to like the way that this bike looks. I have to say, I really don't like some of the faffy controls on the bike. The bike has just got really complicated. It's laden with features, but there's so many of them that you can't actually have physical buttons for them all anymore. So for example, things like the heated seats, heated grips, the electronic screen, you have to dig through menus to find them. And that just gets really old really quickly. I just find some of the electronics, some of the complications, just take away some of the basic pleasure of riding a motorcycle. I'm not keen on the new luggage on the new bike. They are just hassleless to use. They are a faff to get on and off the bike. The central locking doesn't work quite as well as I'd like it to work. They're not even that big. For me, give me old fashioned aluminium boxes that are top loading any day. I don't like the weight of this bike. Once you've added the luggage and a center stand, this bike actually weighs more than my old R1200 GS did. Uh, when you put it on the side stand, it leans over a really long way and it takes quite a haul to get it off the stand. Again, if you're a bit of a, a shorty or a weakling like me, then uh, it's actually quite a difficult bike to live with. It's a step back over my 1200 GS, which I find heavy enough. Uh, this one, despite BMW's claims, I actually find it feels a bit heavier, uh, just a little bit more tricky in the ease of living with department. I don't like the fact that this motorcycle is not one that my wife likes being on the back of. Now it's not terrible for a pillion, but it's just not as comfortable as the old bike. For me, two up touring is a major part of what GS ownership is all about. So the fact that my wife isn't so keen on being pillion on this bike compared to the one that I have is another reason why I won't be buying this bike anytime soon. And finally, the price of the new bike is too salty for me. Uh, when you spec one of these up like this is with luggage and all the bits and pieces that I want, it comes to close to 24 grand. And that is just too much of a stretch over the bike that I've got uh, for no real advantage, except maybe bragging rights down the pub, which I'm really not interested in. So that's why the new R1300 GS is a thumbs down personally from me, and it is a personal view. You may absolutely love the new rocket ship GS, but for me, it's just lost that certain, that certain thing, that certain GS-ness that made the bike absolutely right for me. So there is no doubt that the new R1300 GS is simply a brilliant motorcycle. Sadly, it's just not a brilliant motorcycle for me. The new features and functions, and some of the changes that BMW have made to the bike, have lost some of its GS-ness. The changes they've made just simply aren't things that I was asking for. So I'm not gonna to be too sad to be giving this bike back to BMW. 
So should you buy a new R1300GS? Well, the answer, if you haven't had a GS before, absolutely is yes, it's an incredible bike. But for me, if you've already got a sorted 1200 or 1250, then I wouldn't bother. So thank you BMW, but it's a no from me. Oh, and if you're wondering about any of the kit that you've seen me wearing in this review, often people ask me what was that jacket, that helmet, whatever, then uh, I'll put links below to all the kit that you've seen in this video. Click on those and uh, they'll take you to the details of the stuff. For full transparency, they are affiliate links, so if you click on those and you subsequently buy something, I get a little bit of a kickback, you'll be helping out the channel, but no extra cost to you. So uh, yeah, links below to all the kit I'm wearing.